If you're not getting the coverage you expect from your loose fill insulation blowing machine, there's often a simple fix. Here's how to address the most common issues you may come across on the job. To start, be aware of ambient conditions. A few minor adjustments up front can help you to head off performance variances later on. If the humidity is less than 30%, add a half a cup or a 50-50 mixture of fabric softener and water to the material at the bottom of the hopper near the feeder. Do not add snow. Snow will make the product too dense and it will reduce coverage. It can also introduce foreign matter into the product. Colder temperatures can affect the rigidity of your rotary valve seals, so they might not seal as well until the machine is warmed up. The reduced airflow through the hose will mean that the product is not properly conditioned, and this will result in lower coverage until the machine warms up. The installer loading the hopper should verify with the installer in the attic to let them know that half of the estimated bags have been used. This allows both installers to assess if installation appears to be at the halfway point. This allows for machine adjustments that may need to be made. The blow crew should also check if the bag counts match the job sheet estimate at the end of the job. If the blow crew is missing bags, either over or under, consider monitoring blow technique and making machine adjustments. Here are the five biggest factors to consider. Where is the feed gate set? If you are over in the bag counts, close the gate until the coverage is achieved. Consider increasing the RPM if the machine manufacturer's recommendations are in the operating range to increase the agitation of the insulation material in the hopper. This increase can also be achieved by shifting variable gear transmissions into the highest gear. If you are under the bag counts slightly, open the gate. Also, look to see if the hose is in good condition. Replace the hose if you see any holes or cracks, or if the ridges are worn smooth. Is the hose 200 feet or longer? Recommended hose length is 150 feet. If your hose is longer, consider removing the extra length of it for better performance, or adding length if it's under 150 feet. Also, if the hose diameter is less than four inches coming out of the machine, consider changing to a larger diameter blowing hose to improve coverage. Also, make sure that the reduction in the hose diameter are done gradually using hose reducers. Are you experiencing static? Add a 50-50 mix of fabric softener and water as described earlier. Do not use snow or lots of water. You can use a pump-up sprayer with water and fabric softener mix and mist a small amount of liquid on the material in the hopper to reduce static. Are you getting a 10 to 12 foot plume of material coming from the end of the hose to where it falls on the floor of the attic? If not, make sure the bypass valve is closed so you're getting the maximum airflow. Still not achieving plume? Close the gate to reduce the feed rate of the product to allow the maximum airflow and material ratio also, consider increasing the RPM if it's not above the machine manufacturer's operating range to increase agitation of the insulation material in the hopper. This increase can also be achieved by shifting variable transmission gears into the highest gear. If you're still having coverage issues, pull two bags aside to send back to Owens Corning. Contact your area sales manager to arrange return of the product to the producing plant. Capture pictures of the material and time stamps on the bags so your area sales manager can help with the product assessment. Check out other videos from Owens Corning for more useful tips.